Geminis, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're completely new here. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. If you have any of those placements, then you're in the right place. Let's see what harsh truths you need to hear. Any information you need to get a reading with me will be in the description as well as my other social medias. Uh, if you want to see future readings from my channel and when I go live and take personal readings, hit that notification bell and subscribe button and let's jump in. So first cards that we have, we have happiness, we have health. Gemini, someone rising in Venus placements. What are the harsh truths they need to hear at this moment? We have blame and we have freedom. Interesting. So first harsh truth that you need to hear, we have happiness. It says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So when it comes to your sense of happiness, for one, I always say this, but happiness is a choice. It shouldn't come from external things. If you are waiting for an external circumstance to change for you to be content and happy with your situation, then that means that you're waiting constantly or not waiting, but your mood, your energy could change at the drop of a dime the second that uh, something goes wrong or the second that something doesn't make sense in your situation. And especially if this has something to do with people, if your happiness is predicated off of whether or not someone talks to you today or doesn't talk to you tomorrow, then the truth is you may be needing to center yourself and find what true happiness is from within. Not from external things, because like I said, you'll always be in a shifty mood. You'll always be in shifty energy if you let your external circumstance be controlled by uh, external. I mean, your happiness be ex controlled by external circumstances. Anywho, moving on from that, we also have health. It says, I will honor the physical vessel that embodies my soul. Sorry, guys. The cards are kind of far away and I'm a little blind. So when it comes to your physical body, the next harsh truth that you need to hear is that you need to be more grounded within your physical body. Some of you have been just kind of like coasting in life, uh, working, coming home, taking care of responsibilities and just kind of going day to day without really taking the time out to nurture your body or, you know, give your body the proper nutrients and, and things like that. But also when it comes to your mental health, your emotional health, this is honoring your health period and checking in with yourself. And the reason why you've slightly fell out of it or less driven or lethargic, maybe due to the fact that your health had been screaming at you in terms of you paying attention to it or needing you to pay attention to it. Then we also have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So this is making sure... Harsh truth is that you're not blaming yourself for things not going right, that you're not blaming others. And understand that blame does nothing. Um, it just gives us something to place something on. And blame is only essential when we can recognize where we've kind of fell short and how we can not fall short again. So in blaming others, it does nothing but take responsibility from where we could have showed up differently for ourselves and, and things like that. And then we also have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So this is letting you know that, look, harsh truth is you have free will. You are in a space to where you're free, irregardless of how trapped you feel to a relationship, a job. You are not trapped to anything unless you allow yourself to be there. And you possess the power to free yourself from any chains or shackles that you could be uh, confined to. People, place, thing, habit, whatever this may be. All right, let's pull some cards from here. What's the energy around my Geminis? What are the harsh truths they need to hear at this moment? Okay, so we have aware of cosmic influences. We have manifesting the future and we have confronting inner demons. So getting deeper into the reading with awareness of cosmic influences, spirit wants you to be aware that 
although you do have free will, you do have control over how you respond to things, um, you just may not have control over certain cosmic influences that may come into your life. And I think that there is a lot of cosmic influence around um, certain events that have been playing out playing out around you or even in the future certain events that may play out know that there is this energy of the divine stepping in and um doing their their ones and twos i also feel like for my gemini's who kind of forget or let me rephrase this there could be moments where you forget that your spiritual team is like right there beside you helping you and assisting you and in moments where you're just kind of feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling doubtful, know that there is, like I said, cosmic influence or a cosmic team that is supporting you. Now, we also have manifest in the future. Now, the harsh truth here with this, be careful of what you're thinking. Be careful of what you're setting your intentions on or your focus on, because this will be in turn you manifesting this in the future and know that in the present moment, you are able to manifest the future and what you do with this present moment is going to affect your future. So if you've been too focused on the past or too caught up in your inner demons or self negative talk, this could be you needing to shift that energy and be aware that, like I said, you could manifest that in the future if you're not careful. And speaking of confronting inner demons, the harsh truth is spirit is pushing you, constantly pushing you into circumstances where they want you to confront your shadow side. They want you to confront pieces of yourself that you have not confronted previously because there still could be triggers present that could take you back into a dark place if you're not aware of your shadow side and, and what triggers you in certain ways now let's pull two last cards gemini sun moon rising and venus placements what are the harsh truths they need to hear so we have nature and we also have domestic harmony so you do need to spend more time grounded in your physical reality outside of just going to work taking care of your responsibilities this is going out into nature this is going out into um yeah like i said going out into nature going out into the natural world for inspiration for peace of mind Okay, there could be also the sensory overload that you guys have due to the fact that you haven't really had a chance to go out into nature like how you need to. So if you haven't, this is you needing to prioritize that. And we also have domestic harmony. So there's a need for you guys to work on your relationships within your family, within your home. Okay, this is also finding peace within self. You could be waiting for outside things to bring you peace when, like I said, there's a need for you to be your own peace, be your own internal sense of peace. But these are just some of the things that I'm seeing. I hope that this reading was helpful. If it was, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.